Hey there YouTube, welcome back. This is the Blue Wizard here with some more Grifflands. Went well over my time limit last time, so kind of a little bit of a longer episode. But this week, we uh, we have some deciding to do. Afraid of Cassio. Fish will back me up. Don't know how much that's actually going to help. I can't check either. Cannot run from this fight once it starts. It's do or die. Normally, I would try and go for the Convince. Unfortunately, I'm at 15 Resolve. So I feel like I'm going to have to fight for my life. Spark Baron's Drone Master does look far more interesting than... This guy. Enid. Mm. This is self-defense. I'm gonna have to try my best. It's just gonna be 1v1, it looks like, even though he has a lot of drones, so maybe not quite so 1v1. Yep, I know it. It's summoning drones. I feel like I'm probably gonna have to get rid of the drones first. I can heal only once. How do I want to play this? I feel like... Maybe I should look at my opponents first. A step of drone receiving damage reduces this by one. Drones destroyed at zero stacks, doing five damage. Oh, okay. Immune to bleed and wound. Pierce attacks do double damage. Let's stop fighting if only drones are left on this team. Five damage to him. How much? 25 health. That's quite expensive though. 21 is a little more manageable, but not by much. Especially when I'm only doing low number attacks. Well, I'm gonna play this. Let's see what I get. 13! I would have to take the 5 hit. I might be fine with that. 13 is an excellent number. I feel like I would actually want to do that straight to him. Stats effects gonna be applied. That's what worries me the most. I'm gonna go for the pure damage though. Injury, okay. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Increases firepower. Oh, I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. I don't have combo to do. I'm gonna have to go for the gut shot. Attack twice. Gain two combo. I have to try and mitigate at least some of that, even if it isn't much. Honestly, I want to keep attacking this drone, but the last raid is too good to pass up. I'm gonna do that on you and get the bleed on you. All right, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt quite a bit. If I get up, oh, there it is. I think it's about time to do this. Uh, before I do that, though, so your next to a two combo. I'm gonna play this. Two wound, one impair. Thirty-three percent. Two cards. Doing the seven, so I think I will want to do impair. Nice, nice. Okay, that was actually a really good turn. I'm happy with how that played. 
Kessie. Okay, so I do have the two combo. Uh, out of curiosity, does combo go away? No, they're accumulated until they're spent by a finisher. Whenever you take damage, I lose half of it. Oh, okay. I probably want to defend myself when that's happening. Okay. Instead. So far, this is actually going a lot more smoothly than I first imagined it would ever go. I'm still taking more hits than I would like, but at least I still have that heal in my back pocket somewhere. Two to five. Wow, that killed? I didn't pay attention to the damage I was doing. I'm sure I have 40. I think I am going to do that. Stats effect, I assume he's going to be calling for more, more drones. I should just go full on attack this round then. I didn't take my potion. I'm wondering if I should have. I didn't really want to use it though. be naively merciful is gonna get me killed I'm gonna accept surrender hey look at all this stuff stored five resolve thank goodness that's why I should do some more battles uh, spend up to two combo apply one wound per combo spent gain two defense per combo regain your spent combo next turn whenever you improvise a card deal two damage to a random enemy I do improvise. These are all good cards. I should go for the shills, but once again, I have a chance to actually get some chemistry going between my cards and make this kind of a combo deck. Oh, regain your spent combo next turn. That's, that's good. Negotiation card. I do like in this game that you have two separate decks. It allows for a lot of customizing and how you want to play the game. It provides one random hostility card. If I was going to go for any of these, it would be that one. However, I think I'm just going to decline and get the money. Oh, there it is. I was looking for these upgrades available. One to four. I could draw a card or destroy? Remove this card permanently. Oh, for 8 damage, though. Um, no, I don't think I want to destroy it just yet. Unless I... Unless I wanted to go just like a pure diplomacy negotiation deck. But I'm just, I'm going to have it draw a card for now. All right, I get graft reward. Finally. Oh, I could get 30 shills instead, but I think these are well worth over 30 shills. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by one until played. That's really good. Gain one action at the start of your turn. All hostility cards deal 50% less damage. Oh, uh, maybe, <sighs> dang it. Maybe I should have gone pure di diplomacy or start working towards Pure Diplomacy deck. Because if I don't have any hostility cards in my deck, that would be nothing but a bonus. Uh, gain one action at the start of your turn. Battle card upgrades now have one option fewer. Of course, upping your action would come at a cost. I'm not... not well, let me see. Let me look at my hostility deck real quick. That's the wrong one. To be fair, I only have four. And they're not really amazing, except for Thief's Low Blow. Eh. 
If I go that route, though, I'm going to have to... Those are my higher damage cards, but to be fair, they're not really that much higher damage than my fast talks. If I were to get rid of them, though, I need to replace them with attacks, otherwise I'm just only going to have three plus the occasional manipulate. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a good play. I, I would have had to be more prepared for that. You know, I'm going to go for Quick Charger just because that in itself, even though I don't get to choose the card, is he almost equivalent to getting one action. The thing is, I just don't choose which card it is to play, but since a lot of my cards right now are just one action to play, that's basically a free card to play. So I'm just going to go for that. Shucked a Rotten Oyster. Yeah, thank goodness. Well, no, I'm pretty sure Cassio would have wiped the floor with us. Okay. I feel like it, I should have been able to ask one of these Admiralty people to join me. I need to look into that. I spent 150 shill early on and I haven't seen it pay off at all so far. Not gonna lie, I thought that fight would go a lot worse. To be fair, 40 out of 65 isn't amazing, but I still do have that healing card I keep pulling and I probably should have used. Do do do. Probably gonna rest in the back. So I don't have enough shill to do anything else. Let's take a look at the cards just for kicks and giggles. One influence, destroy after three uses, gain an action, gain one power. All right. I'm going to rest in the back. Hopefully that heals up my resolve and my health a little bit. Yes, I made it and far enough that I unlocked Rook. He's the other character. Right now in early access, as the, of the time I'm playing this, there's only the two characters, I believe, with the third one coming. Only starting location, you can kind of give it a try when starting a new run. Nice. And notifications, new graft. Lost money. Don't need to know, don't need to remember that. Go to sleep. Yay! Back to full health. And resolve. End of day one. My goodness. What is this? Five? Four or five episodes? And now I'm just getting to the end of day one. I did a lot on day one. It was a busy day. Many people hate you, makes you susceptible to ambushes and banes that affect your character. I'm sorry, Endo. I don't know what you want. At least I got more people to like me than dislike me. Good summary. Not 13. Curses. Not close enough. Grog and Dog's patrons are already hard at work on their drinks. <laughs> I have cards. I have friends. Bandits, crimes. Okay. Let's ask about some of these. <laughs> Ulo. Hmm, I don't know if I like the sound of the spree. Hmm. 
Hmm. Peoples is peoples. How are you doing, fish? Fish. Eh, what about Cashio? <laughs> it is a big bounty. And the end of my storyline, I'm assuming. Why would we open three bars? Alright, I'm gonna head out. Well, I'm thinking Admiralty. It's not available for hire. Too bad I don't have money. I'm probably gonna have to pick sides, but let's go check out the meat market real quick. There's only two people here. One of them is Pazlock. You wanna try and sell me your, uh, your little canine pal? <laughs> the human thief spree thief 250 holy crud you all be expensive well i'm just using my money poorly which i wouldn't put past me still waiting for that 150 to pay off uh, that ula can get in the front door of the auction after stew for Admiralty to get her help law friends amongst the people if you pick this side be prepared to run afoul of the law if you choose this path uh, well, maybe, uh, I would want to side with the people, I feel. No, game, why are you making me choose? How dare you? Although, uh, I do have the thing with the Admiralty, so I feel like I'm going to have to go with Admiralty as it is. Otherwise, that 150 spent is probably just going to go to waste. And my friend is also... Yeah, you're Admiralty. I think I'm going to have to go with Admiralty, otherwise I might lose that love situation and any bonuses I spent money on, which I still haven't seen, so I don't know if it really matters. Any discounts? No? Okay. I feel like maybe it's not just Admiralty that loves me, it's just... What's her name? Oh... Can't buy any of those as a matter. Hi, Ulo. I've been told to come talk to you. You got it. Let me ask about a few things. That's a lot of things to ask about. Tell me more about this auction. Official citizenship for everyone. <laughs> I mean, that's all we really need is people that don't like Cashio to side with us. Yeah, I knew there was corruption in the Admiralty. Yeah, that, that jab about the salary really is, uh, it's a little hard to swallow right now. Let's not bring it up. I'm gonna work for you. Sounds fun. Yay, Nadan dislikes me. Never met the guy. Maybe in a future run. Oh, what do we got here? At the end of your turn, deal one damage to a random enemy argument for every stack of influence. 
Each of your non-core arguments gain one stack and three resolve. You know what? I think I am going to go for bolstered. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, the badge means it's not suspicious at all. Nope, never heard of it. Oh, yeah, familiar. How could I forget? Well, sounds like a lot of fighting ahead in my future. Dusting? <laughs> yeah, close enough. New quest, ton of weirds. I have no choice but to accept. Ooh, I get to pick a graph from this too. 195. Uh, only two star. A lot of battling though. So it's good that my health's all the way up. Okay. Sounds good to me. Alright, but that's gonna have to wait till next time. Don't want the episode to run on too long again like the other time. So thank you all for watching. Let me know if you like this. Comment, rate, subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you all again next time for some more Griftlands. Adios.